Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor, and I have a very exciting announcement to make about upcoming engineering updates. Cue the drum roll. I'm getting a sidekick. No. Nope. Come on, you'll be the Robin of my Batman. Nope. Sam to my Frodo? Afraid not. Goose to my Maverick? You can be my wingman anytime. Anyway, in this episode, the most advanced British aircraft ever built, the continuous failure of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, and a pill-shaped colon camera. The Tyrannus, an unmanned combat demonstrator aircraft being built as the most advanced aircraft ever built by British engineers, took its first 15-minute test flight under the command of test pilot Bob Fraser a few months ago at a super top secret location. Super secret. The Tyrannus, named for the Celtic god of thunder, is part of a plan to design an unmanned aircraft that is capable of surveillance, targeting, intelligence gathering, deterrence, and strikes in hostile territory. Sounds dangerous. The test flight was used to demonstrate takeoff, rotation, climb out, and landing, and follow-up flights toward the end of last year displayed the ability to fly at various speeds and altitudes for up to one hour. Engineers have also done static power tests, unmanned pilot training, radar cross-section measurements, and ground station system integration. The Tyrannus is a result of one and a half million man-hours of work by 250 UK companies at a cost of 185 million pounds. Yeah, I guess when I see something, I go right after it. Over the past several years, we've cast a sharp eye on the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and its numerous delays, controversies, and of course, the cost overruns. The $400 billion weapons programs per unit costs have nearly doubled since the 2001 base projections. While a recent Pentagon report shed some light on the troubled 5th gen stealth fighter and its conclusions are damning. Conceived as a jack of all trades, the F-35 ran headlong into the ubiquitous requirements creep, and the result was actually slower less storable and less reliable than the legacy fighters it replaces. But it's worse than that. The inertial navigation gear is off by a few degrees, the main air-to-air -air missile doesn't work properly, the countermeasure system gets easily confused, the marine variant is extremely fragile, only a third of all F-35s are flight ready, but other than that... I feel the need, the need for speed. Colonoscopies can be a pretty stressful situation for most patients, but unfortunately, there aren't any real alternatives to the procedure. However, the FDA just approved a pill-sized camera called the PillCam that passes through the gastrointestinal system and checks for colon cancer. The device measures 12 by 33 millimeters, about the size of a vitamin, and uses an LED so the camera has enough light to record any issues. The footage is then sent wirelessly to a recording device containing sensors that the patient wears on his or her abdomen for up to 10 hours. The camera is contained in a disposable capsule and allows doctors to view the entire colon without sedation or radiation. It's already available in 80 countries and could be the key to reducing the amount of incomplete colonoscopies that mean further testing. Because the information is transmitted wirelessly and the pill is disposable, it does need to be collected after <clears throat> passing through the system. That's all for this week's engineering update. Be sure to check in on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update. I feel the need. The need for